a good day, students, and welcome to Top Form Education Associates Limited. I'm Richard Benjamin, and I'm going to be your basic science teacher. This is JS1, and today we're going to be looking at our first topic or our first lesson in JS1 Introduction to Science. And our instructional material is Complete Basic Science and Technology for Senior Secondary School Book 1. Very quickly, let's see our lesson objective. Our lesson objectives are that by the end of this lesson, you should be able to define science. You should be able to give three reasons why the study of science is important. You should be able to state the processes of science, list the qualities of a good scientist, and lastly, you should be able to name some professions in science. Now, the meaning of science. What is science? Many often at times things happen around us and we don't know what caused certain things to happen the way they are. Now, we're going to be seeing that in science, in the study of science. We say science is an organized body of knowledge. It is the study of the world around us. Like I said earlier, science is the study of the world around us. The study of science produces knowledge. Scientific knowledge is again verified by more studies. From the results of the studies, predictions are made. The predictions in science are called hypotheses. In science, each hypothesis is tested. If it passes the test, the hypothesis becomes a theory. The hypothesis becomes a theory. If it fails the test, it is discarded or reformulated and subjected to further tests. A person who studies science is called a scientist. Scientists study everything such as soil, human beings, animals, engineering, plants, health or diseases, the earth, moon, air, and so many other. Now, like I said earlier, from the results of any study, having studied things that happen around us, from the results, we formulate what we call hypothesis. Now, these hypotheses are further being tested, are further being tested, and when they have passed such tests, we have what we call theory. We have what you refer to as the theory. If it fails, then you have to test it again till you have verified it to become a theory. Let's move forward and see what we have. The study of science has provided a lot of useful and new information in many subjects. Doctors, nurses, engineers, architects, science teachers, researchers, pilots, meteorologists, surveyors, ETC are examples of scientists. Science is usually studied in the lab. You can see all these are examples of scientists. Now, like we said earlier on, a person who studies science is called a scientist. These are all students like you in the laboratory carrying out an experiment to verify certain things. Like I told you earlier on, after much studies, you formulate what we call hypothesis. Now, having verified those hypotheses, you have what we call theory. Now, these are all students carrying out certain experiments in the laboratory to verify something. Let's move on and see. Qualities of a good scientist. Now, for you to become a good scientist, you must possess certain qualities. And what are these qualities? We say a good scientist should have the following qualities. One, curiosity and energetic. You must be curious in what you are doing. You must be curious and energetic. You must be able to put in the whole of your mind in what you are doing. Because like I said earlier, you have to test certain hypotheses over and over again till you are able to verify it and it becomes a theory. So you must be curious. Second, you must be inquisitive and honest. Thirdly, you must be creative. A good scientist is someone who is creative. Next, you must be careful. As a good scientist, you must be careful. 
the pictures in the previous slide, you can see the group of scientists here. You can see they are in the laboratory. And we have many breakable apparatus in the laboratory. If you are not careful as a scientist, you may damage them and probably cause injury to yourself or others. So as a good scientist, you must be careful in whatever you do. Next, you must be observant. You have to observe what you do. You have to ob be observant as a good scientist. Consistency, you have to be consistent in what you do as a good scientist. You have to be industrious and determined to find the answers to problem. These are the qualities of a good scientist. Now, why do we study science? The study of science helps to improve the standard of living. The study of science helps to improve the standard of living. Because we actually study science to find solutions to problems, to find solutions to problems. That is why we study science. And by so doing, we discover that we help improve the standard of living. It provides solutions to many problems in the society. Through science, we have the following. Through science, we have the following. We have now have treatment for many diseases. Now, these are some of the results we have been able to achieve over the years as a result of scientific application. We have been able to find treatment for many diseases. This has helped to improve living standard, building roads, railways, and bridges. Next, construction of vehicles, boats, and many machines. Development and use of tractors, harvesters, pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, and so on. Provision of plants that yield higher and mature early. Now, these are plants that you don't need necessarily need to wait for a whole year before they give you food. You don't necessarily need to wait for the rainy season before you could plant. Next, use of computers to store, send, and receive information. With science now, we are able to use computer to send, store, and retrieve information. We are able to use science to develop many machines that makes work easier and faster. Examples of such machines we have on the TV here, we have the grinding machine, you can see this is a grinding machine. We have the harvesters where you do not need to use your hands to harvest. You only need a machine to do that for you. This is an example of a harvester. We have the dishwashing machine. This is a dishwasher. This is a dishwasher. You don't necessarily need to use your hands to wash. We have the washing machine and the electric ions so these are all examples of machines in science now professions in science we have many professions in sciences professions in science are paid occupations one can qualify for after studying science you can become any of these now when you qualify for any of them you definitely get paid Professions in science are occupations that are well paid. What are some of these professions? Some of them are we have, as you can see, this is a doctor. Doctor is a profession in science. Pharmacy, as you can see on your screen, this is a pharmacist. This is a dentist. These are all in the medical line. These are all professions in the medical line. Let's move ahead to see other professions. We have architecture. This is an architect. Architect. We have computer sciences. Now, as you can see, these are computer scientists. They are all professions in science. Meteorology, as you can see on your screen, this is a meteorologist. What does a meteorologist do? They are in charge of weather forecast. They study the weather and they give us the weather forecast on a daily basis. These are group of surveyors can see surveying. This is a teacher, a science teacher. They are all professions in science. Let's move ahead to see what we have in the lesson. Method of studying sciences. 
method of studying science. Like I said earlier on, we're going to see the scientific process. Now let's see the method of science. The method of studying science or process of science include the following. Now as a good scientist, you must ask questions. So it's a good process. It's one of the processes involved. Ask questions. Next, carry out experiments like you saw in the previous slide, group of students in the laboratory carrying out an experiment that is one of the processes involved. Careful observation. Now during the course of your experiment, you have to be observant. Observe carefully. Recording the observation is another process. Having observed, you have to put it down. Record your observations. Next, further experiments. Now, having carried out your experiment, if they fail, you have to be able to carry it over and over, which we refer to as further experiments, formation of hypothesis, or making a scientific guess. Having carried out several experiments, you formulate what we refer to as hypothesis or a scientific guess. Next, you test the hypothesis. Having formulated your hypothesis, you test to see if they are true or not. And lastly, you formulate a theory. Having tested your hypothesis, then you have what we call theory if they actually pass. And with this student, we have come to the end of this lesson. Very quickly, let's ask ourselves some questions to see what we have learned in today's lesson. We have five questions on the board, so we'll answer them. Number one, define science. The B part of that question, what is the name of the place where science is usually studied? Question two, give six qualities of a good scientist. Question three, give five reasons why we study science. Question four, mention any four professions in science. And lastly, mention six processes or methods of studying science. What are the methods or processes of studying science? I will give us a few minutes to answer these questions correctly. Okay, students, I believe we have all attempted these questions. So let's see what we have as the answers to these questions. Question one. Define science. We define science as the study of the world around us. Science is the study of the world around us. And the B part of the question, what is the name of the place where science is usually studied? We study science in the laboratory. If you got that correctly, put your hands together for yourself. Next question, give six qualities of a good scientist. Six qualities of a good scientist are here. Curiosity and energetic, creative, careful, observant, consistent, and strong determination to find answers to a problem. You got that correctly, put your hands together for yourself. Next question, give five reasons why we study science. Now we study science because of the following reasons treatment for many diseases. We study science so that we can find treatment for many diseases. We study science so that we can make life easy, like I said. So one of the reasons is so that we could be able to build roads, railways, and bridges. Because it's the knowledge acquired or knowledge gained from the study of science that enables us to be able to construct roads and bridges and the likes. Next, construction of vehicles, boats, and many machines. Next, development and use of tractors, harvesters, pesticides, insecticides, and herbicides. And lastly, provision of plants that yield higher and mature early. Question four, mention any four professions in science. We have pharmacy, meteorology, 
computer science and survey. Now, a person who study pharmacy, as we learned during the lesson, we refer to such person as a pharmacist. So, pharmacy is a profession in science. Next, we have meteorology. Meteorology is also a profession in science, but the person studying it is referred to as a meteorologist. We have computer science. Computer science is also a profession in science, but the person studying it is referred to as a computer scientist. And lastly, we have survey. Survey is also a profession in science, but the person studying it is referred to as a survey year. And the last question, mention six processes or methods of studying science. What are the six methods of processes of study science? We have them as follows. One, asking questions, carrying out experiments, careful observation, recording the observations, further experiments, and lastly, formulation of hypothesis. And if we got that correctly, students, put your hands together for yourself. You have done well. And with these students, we have come to the end of our lesson. I implore us to go back to our notes and study hard so that we can understand the topic better. Hope to see you in our next class. Thank you.